Hey everybody, Tom Berry here with Investor Loan Source. I wanted to do a quick video on where I think some opportunities may lie for 2023. So, uh, you know, we, we all know in the real estate business that things are changing. We see interest rates rising, uh, but then we see 30-year mortgages falling. I think the Fed has made it very clear they are not going to be lowering rates anytime soon, uh, and maybe not at all this entire year. In fact, I think they've made it pretty clear that they're going to raise rates at least by another percentage point this year, and maybe more. So what does all of that mean? Well, I think for a lot of investors that have been buying property over the last three to four or five years, and they've been changing their buy box criteria to keep up with the market, meaning they've been paying more because they couldn't find deals at the price they used to pay. I think some of those investors, particularly in the commercial real estate space, are going to be in trouble. And we've already, and I've talked on a previous video about some investors that we already know that are in trouble or have been in trouble and have had to do workouts, bailouts, different things like that. Um, I think what we're going to see over the next at least six months, that is the first half of 2023, is we're going to see more and more of those play out. Meaning, as these rates are elevated, people can't afford their debt anymore, particularly on the reset, and they're going to have to either sell their property or lose their property. So. What does that mean for you, the investor? It means a couple of things. First of all, don't stray from your buy box, regardless of what the market does. The idea that somebody pays way more than the normal investor should pay for a property and then their excuse is, well, I couldn't find one at the price I should pay, that doesn't fly because eventually the market catches you and it's going to catch you in a precarious situation. And I think that's going to play out for those that have done that. Now, on the flip side of that, for those that haven't done that, we need to be on the, on the, on the receiving end when those play out. Meaning, you want to get your cash together, you want to get your lending set up, and be ready to be able to purchase those commercial assets when they come back online. Hope that's helpful for you, and I'll see you on the next video.